gentlemen, welcome to Mrs. Brown's Boy. She's Mrs. Brown. Now, Grandad, when I give you the signal, press the button. All right? To this special child. Ah! Stand by, Grandad, stand by. Ah! A child that will change the world. A child who can. Press it harder. A child who can. A child who will need a book and crash helmet. Mummy, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get this contraption ready for the virgin birth. This nativity play has gone to your head. <laughs> Just have the baby appear in the crib. That's what everybody else does. I don't want to do what everyone else does. I've watched these nativity plays over the years, and the one thing they always leave out is the actual birth. So what? So what? We go through our lives being told how Jesus suffered for our sins and not one mention of how Mary suffered so that Jesus could suffer. <laughs> well, not in this nativity play. You are mad. No, I am a mother. <laughs> Hello. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. We did. <laughs> oh, this is a special week. It's Nativity Play Week. The hall is booked. I have my script finished. I just have to have it passed by Father Damien. He should be here by now. <laughs> Grandad, there's tea there. Don't you catch anything in that thing. I get that, Mummy. That should be Father Damien now. Do you know, I wasn't sure about him at first. A bit wishy-washy for my liking now. But I have to be honest, I'm starting to take to him. Hello, Grandad. <laughs> Bless him. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Hello, Father. Sit down, Father Damien. Tea? Yes, please. I got it, Mummy. Thanks, love. Well, there you are. The finished nativity script. Excellent. Men are bastards. <laughs> it's just a working title. <laughs> Mummy. Seriously? Well, it was a man who wouldn't give them a room. And Herod was a man. And Joseph was a man, and he never booked a room in advance. Your mother has a point. But still, I think we'll cross it out. Uh-uh. Nah. Uh, what are you crossing out now? The shepherd's saying, holy shit, is that a UFO? <laughs> well, what would they think it was? Look, let's not do this now. Why don't I take this home, go through it, and we can talk about it later. Now, we need to think about a director. I'm the director. Mrs. Brown, you're in the play, and you've written the play. Uh, yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I think we should have a different eye on it. Now, I love the theatre. I'll direct it, Mummy. You trust me, don't you? I suppose, yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> we'll direct it together. Right. I must be off. I'll go back to you soon on this. Do, Father. Uh, I want this nativity play to be special. To have love and warmth. <laughs> to, to, to show just how important the birth of every baby is. <laughs> Get up! Right, then. I have to go talk to the narrator. Narrator? What narrator? From the church committee, Mrs. Nicholson. Hiddley! She's not muscling in on this. Oh, she's very excited. And as you two have triplet grandchildren in common, I thought it would lend a family feel to the whole thing. Family feel? <laughs> I 
I don't know what family you're talking about, Father, unless it's the Adams family. <laughs> I'll kill you, you bastard. Don't touch that, Grandad. I'm not sure if this increases the power or decreases the power. Ah, ah! I mean it, Grandad. Don't touch that trigger. You could launch me, for God's sake. How are you, Cathy? Is your mommy about, pet? In the sitting room. In labour. What? <laughs> mommy, it's Winnie! Thanks, love. Oh, oh. Are you hurt from the baby cannon? No, it's just me wrist is weak. I used to get that when Jacko was younger. <laughs> it's cramp. It's called wank. Winnie! It's the Christmas episode. <laughs> it's called rheumatism. You should see Dr. Flynn about that. There's no point. He just say, take paracetamol and that's that. But what about a homeopath? Dino. <laughs> no, mommy, a homeopathic remedy. There's lots. Copper bracelets, for instance. No, I tried that. It didn't do anything for the pain. It just turned me whole wrist green. <laughs> my wrist looked like the Incredible Hulk's dangler. <laughs> well, have you tried magnets? I'll tell you what. I'll try and pick you up a couple in town today. i try anything, love. I'll see you later, so. Agnes, you see this nativity? Yeah. Well, Johnny the box collector and Willie the sweeper from the market, they were asking if they could be in it. When you can't just go around giving out parts like that. <laughs> this is my play. Please. Fine. Tell them they can be shepherds. <laughs> but no more. I mean it. Would you consider shouting for the virgin? <laughs> Willie. See them. They're paracetamol. Not fucking morphine. <laughs> Mommy, Father Damien asked me to go through some of the script. Explain why he wants you to take stuff out. Take it out? I took me ages to write that thing. Well, some of it's not on. Like what? Well, nobody ever called Joseph Joey. <laughs> and uh, he was never in a gang called the Nazareth Massive. You're ripping me story to pieces. Look, will you just trust me to go through and take out what's absolutely necessary? I trust you to do anything, son. Thanks, Mommy. There's just one more thing. What? You can't use the baby cannon. <laughs> but I'm after getting the fucking thing up. Look, I'll go along with the birth scene, but you can't go launching the baby Jesus from a cannon. <laughs> Look what they've done to my song, Lord. <laughs> Young man required to work as mudflap. <laughs> Must be flexible and willing to travel. Trouble. Hey, man. Have you come to give me three wishes? <laughs> I see you brought Alibaba, which is well. Ah, uh, don't be like that, Mrs. Brown. I might just have the answer to all your dreams. Not unless you have Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, and a small pony in that box. <laughs> Seriously, man. Cathy was saying magnets might help your rheumatism. Shower buster. I already got magnets from Cathy. Are they working? Not really. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, take a look at this. Jesus, it's huge. Yeah, it has to be, to fit around the horse's leg. <laughs> a horse? Yeah, it's for a race horse. Just think, man, if it works for a horse, it'll work for a cow. <laughs> oh, 
or a sheep or a goat or a racing pigeon or even you, Mrs. Brill. <laughs> right, well, I'll leave it with you <clears throat> on the usual 30 day money back deal. What did you say? I mean, Happy Christmas, Mrs. Brill. Don't even think about it. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Oh, wait, one more thing. I got that off a jockey friend of mine, and the only thing he wants in return is to be in the nativity play. <laughs> okay, tell him he can be a shepherd. Oh, he loved that. He used to work in a news agents. <laughs> Jesus, I think I can feel a bit of relief from that already. Thanks. Well? It needs a key. And the vet is away for the new year. That's a week. Will you manage for a week? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I'll just have to cope with one hand behind me back. It's not funny. It is a bit. <laughs> Your ma looks like a Swiss army knife. <laughs> Very good, very good. Well, Jarvis, what have you got me for the donkey? <laughs> That's a zebra, not a donkey. She has a point, love. How do you know it wasn't a zebra in the Bible? He has a point, love. <laughs> because it says in the Bible, a donkey. And anyway, zebras live in southern Africa. Well, maybe this zebra is lost. <laughs> Look, it's the best I could do. I might be able to get a camel. No, 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 no. Zebra's fine. Oh, for God's sake, Mummy, a zebra is not fine. Look, if it comes to a choice between a donkey in pyjamas and a donkey with a hump, I'll take the pyjamas. <laughs> As they say, donkey is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> so, what have you got for the stable animals? A polar bear? Were well, you looking at my bag? <laughs> Ma. Yes, love. You have me in here as one of the kings. No, son. I have you in as the main king. The main king? What am I in it, Agnes? Mary Magdalene. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> is she in the nativity? I thought she wasn't in the story for years. Uh, just in case, Winnie, stay well in the background. <laughs> well, well. It's all stations go in here. Yes, it is, Father. Trevor, you're the innkeeper. Go in and try on your stuff. What about me, Mrs. Brown? What, Father? What am I in the play? Oh, I had you down as the narrator. But you gave that part away, didn't you? <laughs> to Hidley. <laughs> Maria, love, is your mother coming over for a fitting? No, Mrs. Brown. She says she has her own costume organised. Has she? God knows what that little feck can be. <laughs> Who is? Hidley, she's out there like fecking Cleopatra. You never have an asp when you need one. It was over 2,000 years ago, and the world was in an awful state altogether. I didn't write this. In the small village of Nazareth, a young virgin. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Her name was Mary. She lived a simple life until one night a wondrous magical thing happened. An angel of the Lord appeared to her. Oh, shit! Shit! I'm on fire! <laughs> Who are you? And what 
do you want? I'm born him. What do you fucking want? I am the Angel Michael. And I come with a message from above. You are with child, and it is a very special child. But this cannot be, for I am a virgin. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you will bear this child, a child of the Holy Spirit. Really, I'm born. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How can this be? For I am Look, still... Mrs., just have the kid move on. It's in the script. <laughs> Be more professional. <laughs> Mommy, let's just move on. Get to Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Where the fuck is Bethlehem? Where is he? Get the fuck back here. <laughs> Mary, take the next one. And it came to pass that some time later a census was called and a pregnant Mary and her husband Joseph had to go to the town of Bethlehem to register. Where is everybody? It's a donkey. We need fuck off. <laughs> Where's the fucking donkey? Tommy, Dino's not here yet. Can we wait? No, Rory, the show must go on. It was a busy time. It was difficult to find. But, Mammy, he'll play the front half. Grandad, put it on. They went up the mountains and down the mountains. And still they could find nowhere to stay. And then they came across an inn. <laughs> oh, granddad. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, look. It's an inn. Shall we try here? It is a man, a pregnant woman, and a half a donkey zebra. Half? Oh, for Christ's sake. I've had enough. My husband is just going to park the donkey. Do you have a double room? The bridle? No, we're going bareback. <laughs> this is a mess. Fucking curtains. One little fart! Mommy! Stop! Just move things along! Get the angel ready! I don't want to do this anymore! Jingle bells... Jingle! Mary. There was no room at the inn, but there was a stable at the back, so Mary and Joseph went there to spend the night. In the meantime, in a field close by, some shepherds attending their flock. <laughs> bah. <laughs> when they are approached by three kings. We are three kings. Uh, higher, uh, higher. Uh, Mummy, uh, get ready for the angel. Uh, faster, uh, faster. <laughs> We're following an angel. Oh, look, there he is now. <laughs> Glorious angel, fly on, and we shall follow. <laughs> angel, fly on, and we shall follow.
The shepherds then asked the kings if they too could come to see this baby that was the son of God. And the king said, sure, pal, no bother. <laughs> come on, it's the big bear scene. Everybody, get ready. Maria, I thought you said the triplets were too sick to be here. They are. So what are we doing for the baby Jesus? Betty? I don't know. Your mother said she had it sorted. I'll go try and find a baby. Meanwhile, in the stable behind the inn, with Mary surrounded by animals, the baby was about to be born. <laughs> oh, Lord, your son is about to be born. <laughs> He's coming! Oh! Oh. He has arrived. <laughs> ah. Jesus Christ! What a wonderful name! We shall call him that! <laughs> Doing granddad! I had to improvise. The show must go on. Everybody, get ready for the visit of the king. Sammy, what? This is your last chance. If anything else gets weird, I am taking over. We will do it my way. Weird? Don't be ridiculous. Granddad, get into that crib. <laughs> Hillary. Hillary, take it. Hillary. <coughs> Soon the angel stopped and hovered over the stable. <laughs> and the three kings arrived. <laughs> we were led here by the glorious angel. Sorry, ma. <clears throat> we were led here by the glorious angel. Oh, this is cutting the nuts off me. <laughs> You are guided by this angel who hovers above the stable. Oh, shit. You see the child Christ, he who will unite all men and bring peace upon this earth. Really? Uh-huh. Well, here he is. But first, I must breastfeed him. It's perfectly natural. That's it, Mammy. You're off the set. Excuse me. This is my show. No, Mammy. It's the family's show. Sharon, get out there and talk to them. And be nice. Maria, let's do it the way we planned. Planned? Betty, get Bono and his friends ready. And Betty, you're the Virgin Mary. No, I'm the Virgin Mary. Mammy, out. Okay, everybody, places. Everybody, shh. Jack! <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the warm up. Now, for your pleasure. Hey, where are you going? Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> the Nativity, according to the Brown family and friends. came traveling on a ship from afar Twas light years of time since his mission did start And over a village he halted his craft And it hung in the sky like a star <laughs> Just like a star Beautiful. Yeah, well, well it's, it, it's his name. Then the stranger spoke and he said do not fear, I come from a planet a long way from here, and I bring a message for 
for mankind to hear And suddenly the sweetest music as the Virgin Mary. Yeah. Did you do it from memory? <laughs> <laughs> Must have a marvellous memory. It's been so long ago. <laughs> Get lost, you two. <laughs> <laughs> Mammy, put the kettle on. Don't think she's in there, Cathy. Actually, I haven't seen her since we got back. She has to be in there. Mammy! Mammy? And on that night, which seemed like a very ordinary night, a very extraordinary thing was happening. A young woman giving birth to a child. A child that would change this world forever. And she would cherish him all of his short life. She would worry for him, care for him, and follow his every footstep through this troubled world. And he would perform miracles. Preach to the elders of the church, let the blind see, and the lame walk. And all of the time, she would simply worry. Has he changed his underwear today? <laughs> I would have been a great Mary. Hey, <laughs> 